Hey plant gang, you know, yellow is not a rare color uh, when it comes to flowers, but it is a rare color uh, when it comes to magnolias. And here we've got Magnolia accumula accumulata yellow bird is the cultivar. Now this is a beautiful plant. There are a few other yellow flowering magnolias, uh, but this is one that's looking good for us right now in our gardens. Magnolia acuminata yellow bird. Uh, come on in, we're going to learn a little bit more about this cultivar. Now I called this Magnolia acuminata yellow bird. And now this, the truth is that this is a hybrid magnolia. And oftentimes you'll see it listed as Magnolia X brooklynensis. That's because it was a hybrid that was uh, discovered or made, I'm not for sure which, at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden uh, in New York. It's actually a cross between Magnolia cuminata, which is native to the eastern U.S., and Magnolia lilliflora, lilliflora, which is native to China and Japan. Now, if you do cross those two plants, uh, the, seed, the seedlings are very variable. Uh, in their flower color. Now this plant is hardy from zones four through eight. It can get between 20 and 40 foot tall and it can spread out 10 to 25 foot wide. Blooming for us at the fir in the first of April, uh, it's a great plant. Uh, people are really struck by uh, the amount of blooms it has, uh, the color of the bloom. Uh, soon behind it, you'll have uh, medium size for a magnolia uh, leaves. Uh, this plant has been fairly slow growing for us uh, in our gardens in eastern Tennessee, uh, maybe a little bit quicker in cooler zones where it gets a little bit more of a rest from the heat at night. Uh, but a great plant if you want a yellow magnolia. There's other great yellow magnolias out there uh, that are different hybrids uh, that are avail available. Uh, but this is one that we've got at our gardens and we've been successful with. Here's a landscape tip. This is an excellent specimen to place where flowers can be appreciated.